Scorpio. What up, though, family? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general message today for the sign of Scorpio, wherever that resonates at for you in your birth chart. Keep in mind, we all do have an eighth house as part of our birth chart, and time and energy are fluid, so take what resonates here today and leave the rest for someone else. And these readings are timeless as well, y'all, so whenever you do stumble across this message, there will be something here for you to help bring you clarity and confirmation, to help empower you, to help you align. Scorpio, tapping into your energy today, I use this Keepers of the Light Oracle deck along with this faceted garden oracle deck to help me catch a vibe as i'm connecting with the collective energy um collectively you guys were at such a massive pivot point um as we slide into aries season here happy aries season happy new year family this one's a big one this is not like uh, other normal new years when airy season comes and we get that energy and it's like springtime and time to go um as we slide into airy season this year we're moving into um eclipse season right we're starting with this lunar eclipse here on the 25th i believe of march and then i think april 8th we have the solar eclipse so we have the lunar eclipse coming through first which i feel like is initiating this internal shift and change for us and then um following shortly after that you know we have the solar eclipse which i feel like is going to bring the tangible physical real world shift in as well so this is such a major time i feel like the biggest portal we've probably ever stepped through at this time and scorpio for you it's looking like this is really the cultivation of your soul's work here where it's like you're truly leaving this old life behind this scarecrow energy is really about the sadness the guilt it's about the relationships and situations that we had to leave behind this is about the whole past the whole life that we've had to leave behind as we've grown as we've ascended and as we are moving forward into this next chapter and phase season of our lives it's like you've truly undergone a major transformation scorpio and you're truly shedding an old skin moving from this winter fall energy into this spring summer energy into this beautiful sunshine a much lighter energy bottom of the faceted garden we have the celestial realm card which is just letting me know scorpio that all of the celestial helpers are gathering in the unseen realms at this time to help you to guide you to help you heal to show you the way so you're seeing the signs and synchronicities i'm sure you're seeing the times on the clock the animals that are crossing your path family the butterflies this is a huge transformation and spirit saying that it is an excellent time to connect at this at this time as well because there is downloads understanding inspiration um coming through from astral and from heaven lady venus downloads and understanding truth is being revealed deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm we have freya with phases and cycles scorpio there is a beginning within every ending illusions are revealed and released we have brigid with inner strength here move back to wholeness recognize that you have the power and then we also had lord krishna fallout as well it says trust your spiritual guidance your commitment has been recognized and you are loved unconditionally i really like the way that this happened scorpio because bottom of the deck over here we have the celestial realm and on the bottom of the keepers of the light we have the holy spirit which says expect miracles remember that only love is real miracles will occur naturally and spirit has your back so this is it scorpio you're shifting into this new um cycle i do feel like there's almost like a clearing and a release happening at this time and we are right in between worlds shifting into this new world so let's i'm gonna pray real quick scorpio and then we'll dive into this i love to see the hanged man getting down from the tree right so this is all about movement right forward movement um being being done with this divine pause or almost done i want to say that for me personally i feel through eclipse through 
Aries season, as we move through Aries season, it's going to be a, a slower process than something just like boom. So, Holy Divine Mother and Father, Great Spirit, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Ancestors, messages today for the Scorpio Collective and placements for their highest good. Anything Scorpio needs to hear or know, any messages that will bring clarity and confirmation, any messages that will empower my Scorpios, any messages that will bring healing, wisdom, understanding, any messages that will help Scorpio align with their highest selves, their highest timelines, their best lives. And of course, above all of that, any messages that will help Scorpio align with the highest divine will will be greatly appreciated. All praise and glory forever and ever. Om. Amen. Ashe. I want to just say as well, extremely potent time to plant seeds. Extremely potent time to plant seeds. The seeds that are gathered and planted in the abyss are straight from our soul so i've been saying that as well to every sign it is such a such an uh, an extremely potent time to connect with the divine and open that conversation up of what's next what did i come here to create what does my soul want to create right now what does the highest divine will want to bring through me right now and to connect with that vision so spirit what's the theme of scorpio's message today yeah you guys queen of wands chariot judgment 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 coming through for everyone right now you guys this is the culmination this is the chapters the cycles the contracts coming fully to energetic fruition this is where the angel blows the trumpet this is where things get sorted out cleared and realigned this is the integration phase and it's Spirit is definitely divinely guiding Scorpio at this time forward into this beautiful energy. So what is Scorpio's energy at this time, please, Spirit? What does Scorpio have at the heart of their situation? Some strife, some chaos, conflict, some competition, a little bit of turbulence. What's going on with Scorpio? You guys, chariot again, hermit. This is it. Another nine. Lots of nines out here, nine energy, ending energy, lots of like it karmic karma, um, soul contract energy out here as well. Five of cups on the bottom of the deck. Scorpio, not every not everyone or everything is coming with us or is able to come with us as we ascend, right? And it feels like you've truly had to leave a lot behind. But Scorpio is understanding things from a much deeper level. It does feel like you're kind of in your hermit mode at this time, but there's this deep integration of wisdom happening. There's this deep understanding. It's almost like you're seeing seeing things from a much much more zoomed out point of view and things are making more sense it's like we can see the bigger picture at this time ace of wands to the nine of pent eight and nine of pentacles this is scorpio you're putting in work you're putting in work and focus to build what it is you would like to build and create in your world Again, you're closing out a chapter and you're pulling your energy from people, situations, relationships, dynamics um, in your life that are not serving you or your highest good anymore, right? This is Queen of Swords. You're having to put your foot down. You're having to speak your truth. Um, you're, it just feels like this much deeper understanding here for Scorpio, this emotional intelligence, this uh, emotional ascension and growth that you've experienced as well. Now, I do feel like the divine is planting within you these sparks, these jewels um, that are lighting up for you in a sense, in a sense where it's like you're being intuitively pulled and guided t towards something new at this time. There's a, this was a, 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 so collective, just generally speaking, is at a major pivot point, karmically, karmically speaking, energetically speaking, where there's a lot of contracts that are done and over with. There's a lot of collective that is breaking through generational curses, healing generational traumas, um, 
family curses, addictions, thought patterns, poverty consciousness. This is collective breaking away from the pack and truly aligning with destiny here through um, a co-creation with the divine. So what is incoming? Scorpio, this is beautiful energy. Spirit saying that nothing you've been through has been in vain either. So what's incoming for Scorpio? Ace of Pents. It's face down, so this is maybe something that you cannot see from where you're standing. There's some overanalyzation taking place in regards to this opportunity that's coming in. We have the Ace of Pents to the Queen of Pentacles with the Two of Wands. It's like, I see this beautiful new opportunity with so much potential, and it looks like there's some stress or some overthinking in regards to this new start or this higher guidance, this alignment with this new. Let's... Grab some clarity on this Eight of Swords and see why collective, yeah, because of the past. There's a lot going on internally because of past situations and situations surrounding you at this time. There's a lot changing for you here. Some of you are like leaving toxic marriages or family situations behind or healing some type of family dynamic breaking through these blockages these familial mental family blockages and these it feels like some of you are really moving away from some petty people some petty bickering people you're understanding things from a deeper level you're like this is not what i come here to build this type of energy is not what makes me happy or fulfilled I'm tired of perpetuating this pain or this damage. Six of Wands. I see collective overcoming in a big way. There's Ace of Ace of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles, though, is your incoming energy. There's an opportunity with a lot of potential incoming for you, Scorpio. But I feel like maybe you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone or you're going to have to take a certain action or move in a certain direction. What's the advice? for Scorpio some of you may be coming into colla new collaborations new connections I see that as well for some of you it's in work for some of you it's in like collaborating through you know uh, just regular relationships to grow grow through and learn from nines just chucked full of nines this reading nine of cups nine of wands your advice judgment it's like releasing the past staying strong controlling the little self and staying focused on what is for you what what is for you what makes my heart sing this is me pushing toward that not giving up spirit saying you're much closer than you think here scorpio star aquarian energy libra energy leo energy out here big pluto coming through um, Pluto's presence is, is here for sure. So this deep transformation taking place, these contracts fulfilled, closed, and collective, you know, dancing with the universe. Your advice really, though, with these two nines is to keep pushing and stay focused, Scorpio. Stay focused on what makes you happy, your, your, your fulfillment, and continue releasing and following that higher guidance. Any other advice for Scorpio? Scorpio, somebody around you is just, just toxic. Maybe you're having dreams about them, about them or visions. Maybe this person hurt you in the past or you've had a rough past. But ultimately, your soul is learning deep, deep lessons through whatever this devil energy is. Take it how it resonates. Don't try to make it fit. The, the message here really is stand your ground. Scorpio, hold the line. Mars and Leo energy. Move from your heart space and defend what, what your heart wants. Hold your ground. Family, this is a beautiful new opportunity full of promise full of new experiences, manifestations, wishes, and dreams come true. Scorpio, if there's a class you need to take, a certification you need to get, um, uh, 
a, some type of license, a book you need to read, some study, research that you need to do, um, paperwork that you need to get in order for whatever it is you're starting. You guys, whatever it is you're focusing on and working on, put your energy into it right now. It's going to pay big time. Let's grab some Oracle cards for Scorpio. Whatever you put your energy toward right now, Scorpio is going to give back to you. Te you're going to tenfold, tenfold, tenfold. Again, just I just want to emphasize this deep feeling of none of it has been in vain and every bit of it was for a purpose and reason. 999, if you guys start seeing 999, don't be surprised. Um, maybe even 666 here with the hanged man. He's going to see that 999. This is going to look like 666, right? Um, what's the message here for Scorpio, please, Spirit? Radical acceptance. What's the message for Scorpio? Yeah, don't fall asleep, you guys. Wheels, 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 wheels. Wheels upon wheels, wheel of fortune. You guys got many masks. The authentic self, number 38, which is an 11, right? This this gateway. <clears throat> Tell me what this card says to you, Scorpio. Drop it in the comments below. Feel free to pause, pause the video if you need to. Take this energy and soak it in. What do you see psychically? What do you feel emotionally? What do you feel psychically? What downloads come through for you with this many masks? energizing internal allies and a conscious shift we live in a world where everyone we see wears a mask we wear these masks to cover up and protect who we really are we learn to do so because we've been conditioned to try to appear a certain way to fit in society masks allow us to belong so we remain within confines of what is expected masks are not inherently bad rather they provide context and structure for our personalities and souls expression some of us might believe that a particular mask fixed and hardened onto us is our permanent face. We forget that we are living beings with a multitude of faces enabling us to experience a fuller, more vibrant world. Your authentic essence does not want to be constrained by others' expectations anymore, Scorpio. Now is the time to strip away the masks you've accepted and discover who you really are. A new self is emerging and your perception changes as you adopt new ways of being. Right now, it's extremely important to allow yourself to experiment, to experience the world in all its myriad of potentials and possibilities. Try on different masks and let yourself be fluid and curious. How will you know what you love and what you resonate with if you don't take off the mask that you've always worn and test drive some new ones? Your authentic essence will never change. It will only express itself differently through these optional selves. Through trial and error, you discover more and more about who you want to become. What would it feel like to explore this side of you? Anything is possible if you're willing to open up to your potential. You truly can move beyond the bar barriers that society has set. So use your imagination and step in to the magic. Luck and right timing with the fortune's wheel. And then we have time to replenish with empty well under there. So self-care, you guys, right now. Rest, hydration, all very important. Meditation, um, like I said, opening up that line that conversation with the divine for what what this is right being present so we don't miss this hand of the divine reaching in with this opportunity let's grab a message that was the shaman's dream we're going to grab one from this white light oracle as well spirit what's the message for scorpio that was the alabaster tablet of layla what wants to come through thank you Lasya of Parvati <clears throat> number 32 open right up to it there's a gentler way to proceed and obtain the same or even greater effect 
Tame the wild and frenzied workings of the mind by grounding yourself with beauty, pleasure, and grace. Violence and its negative effects shall be overcome and healed through feminine gentleness and inner spiritual strength. This oracle is a sign of great future happiness. Parvati is the universal mother in her gentle aspect, although... As with all mothers, her fierce side will emerge if it's needed to protect her children. She's beautiful and benevolent and evokes the qualities of love, connection, creativity, and devotion to a higher purpose. The divine goddess has many names, and Parvati is also known as Jagatambe, the mother of the universe. Her son is Ganesh. Oh, that came through. Ganesh came through in Cancer's reading. Her son is Ganesh, the elephant-headed deity who fosters success in all the new ventures, protection from obstacles, and is particular benefit to those who feel drawn to write. Parvati is mother to all, and her presence in a reading augurs um, success on every level. With Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth, love, and spiritual enlightenment, and Saraswati, the goddess of wisdom, music, and creativity. Parvati is Tridevi. She is the sacred triune of feminine nature or triple goddess of Hinduism. Parvati is a divine archetype of the vital, competent, creative, and loving woman. When her oracle appears, there's an opportunity to heal one's mother wounds and one's relationship with the feminine more generally. Scorpio, with the moon out here, the mother, um, and Freya, the, the moon, the mother again, right? We have Venus, we have love. That's been coming through in your readings for the past few months. Scorpio, some of you are healing some deep um, divine feminine wounds or mother wounds here as well. And it feels like that's really coming along. It's been very prominent message here. It says, Parvati is the consort and wife of the wild god Shiva. He loves to meditate and has a fierce temper when distracted from his spiritual practice. Wrathful as he can be, he is a protector deity and the destroyer of evil. Parvati stimulates her husband's passion through her skillful practice of yoga. He's roused from meditation by the powerful energy that she generates, and he performs his fierce cosmic dance the tandava which brings an end to that which needs to be annihilated so new life can emerge the vigor of shiva's dance in our lives can be intense parvati's dance lasya provides balance and calming grace when the soul needs gentleness and comfort parvati dances her dance of happiness leading us along our path without requiring us to continually push ourselves beyond our limits her wisdom protects us from breakdown, guiding us into breakthrough. Her oracle indicates that even though we may grow through intense challenges, there's a calming influence which can help us if we're willing to allow for it to be allow for it and be kind to ourselves. When Parvati knows that a more dramatic intervention is the only way to conquer a particular evil in our lives, then she'll manifest as the ferocious goddess mother Kali. One story holds that Kali was so intent on destruction that the fate of the world hung in the balance. So her husband, Lord Shiva, appeared before her as a crying baby, which instantly evoked her maternal instincts and calmed her back to a state at, of Parvati. We can trust that this is the divine We can trust that the divine mother loves us and responds to what is needed but also knows how to get things done without being more heavy-handed than necessary. She's genuinely moved by our suffering and will manifest in whatever forms are needed to heal. Her oracle asks you to invoke her and trust what transpires is for your healing and spiritual fulfillment. Give up the notion that the deepest issues require the most difficult path to heal. Let her lasia dance of happiness and grace unveil a gentler and more loving way. The healing process for this card, for anybody that feels guided to connect, says, Connect consciously with your breath as you become fully present in the here and now. As you breathe in, your awareness disconnects from distractions around you. And as you exhale, your awareness settles deeper within. Your awareness is like a white feather drifting th down through the air, rocking ever so slightly to one side and then the other. It finally settles upon the inner bedrock of your being. In this state of interconnection, you can say the following invocation. For the spiritual benefit of all beings, 
I call upon the Divine Mother, Parvati, for her blessings of spiritual grace, happiness, wisdom, and healing. May I recognize and embrace the gentlest path for effective healing and loving self-transformation. May the triple blessing of Tridevi grace my soul for the ultimate benefit to all souls. Om. Amen. Ashe. Now, imagine, feel, visualize, or intend that you see a glorious goddess of white light, graceful, kind, and lovingly devoted to you, gazing upon you. From her loving gaze emerges a protective field of powerful white light which enters your body, heart, mind, and soul, clearing and healing and blessing you from within. That light expands to softly touch, bless, heal, and illuminate the space in and around you on every level through all dimensions. Let this happen to the extent you can. Allow it to feel as euphoric or peaceful as you wish. Rest in this energy for a time, and when you're ready, bring yourself back to the present moment by grounding yourself, connecting with the flow of your breath in and out, and hydrating your body. Then you have completed this healing process. Scorpio, you guys, this is such a massive uh, collective shift. This is such an auspicious time for us collectively. Congratulations. If you're here, that means you're doing something right. Um, thank you for showing up for yourself. Thank you for doing the work. Thank you for being. Let's grab a message from this Moonology, and then we'll grab a message from Ma, from Kali. Uh, do not let your past hold you back, South Node. Com communication is key, and this energy is gaining momentum, balance, spirituality, and practicality on the bottom of the deck. Meditation, 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 breath work, yoga, prayer, scripture. What's the message for Scorpio? Although you may be in circumstances that you'd prefer to not, not to be in at this time, you're actually in a position of unrealized spiritual power. You will gain benefit from what is transpiring when the relevant learning and personal growth have been acknowledged and integrated. These circumstances will give way to a more favorable situation. And in order to grow, the soul may need to separate from that which it once relied upon. Oppression will be overcome, so not do not cling to what has been. Sometimes the best way to heal from the past is to cut it off completely and focus on inner regeneration and reorientation toward a more fulfilling future. You shall know true love and freedom. Scorpio, beautiful messages here. And one more fell out for you as well. And this is Matanji. She's the tantric queen of outcasts, unveiling the hidden inner power to thrive outside of conventional society. If you've been denied love and respect, she brings healing and empowerment. If you've suffered rejection, abandonment, or been labeled as unworthy in any way, she brings dignity and repair. She clears the way for a joyful, creative, and vibrant life path. Scorpio. I hope this message helped, family. I hope you're able to take something from this here. I just like seeing the collective's hard work paying off and perseverance paying off, family. I love seeing Double Chariot out here at the heart of your energy. You did it. You did it, family. It is a brand new chapter. It's a new cycle. There is limitless possibility here, family. And the thing right now is to stay strong, root down, and be patient as we're waiting for this light to turn green, to let arise what wants to arise at this time, to be with it, to know it, to honor it, to feel it, um, and to ultimately trust that anything that is arising at this time is for our highest good. And that the divine truly does have our backs in every way. Um, so things are aligning for us. Collective Void family, you did it. Congratulations. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all more than, more than words.
Before we tap out fully, we're going to take a second to take a deep cleansing breath. We're going to use our will, our imagination, our intention to draw in this divine cosmic energy. We're going to pull this prana from in the air. Picture it as white or gold light filling your body, filling your aura. We're going to pause, hold the breath at the top and imagine ourselves glowing as bright as we possibly can. And then as we release, we're going to exhale forcefully. Watching any negativity, any doubt, any anxiety, fear, sadness, anger, resentment, uh, lower frequencies or blockages, period. We're going to watch all of that in the form of black or gray, smoke or static, leaving us so the divine can help us transmute that into this light of love, wisdom, understanding, and ascension. First things first, take a deep, full breath out. Completely empty your lungs, and then we'll get this breath in. Go ahead, breathe out. breathe in hold it squeeze move a bundle lift up on your perineum raise that energy up your spine now pull it down and lock it into your heart space watch yourself glowing brighter and brighter and release Scorpio gang gang Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here, for showing up, for showing love like y'all do. Make sure y'all smash that thumbs up. Make sure you share these videos if you think they'll help someone. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you again. Hope everybody has a blessed rest of your day. I hope this message has found everybody well and in great spirits. And I will see you beautiful beings on the next reading.